All right, I'm out here uh, piddling with these Dodge heads, and uh, a common problem on porting is uh, knowing knowing how thick your uh, wall is right here for the push rod pinch. And these are no exception. That's one of the first places it needs opened up on them a little bit, and uh, there's really no good way to measure that except just kind of pinching it with your fingers and kind of guessing and everything else. And I've I've always heard about the or known about this tool, they call it like an e-tool or an e-bar tool or, I don't know, e-tool. But a guy by the name of Roger Helgeson used to make them, and I think he's passed away now, so they're not on the market anymore. But I've always wanted to make one, and I didn't quite understand the concept of it, so I'd always shied away from it. But it finally clicked, and I finally decided to make one. And uh, I just made this out of some scrap. Uh... That I had laying around. This is just two hundred thousandths uh, rod, but uh, show you how it works real quick. You stick the straight piece up in there, and that goes in there. And you pinch this right here, and then this gap between them two is exactly twice the thickness of the push rod wall. You can move that up and down, and and the gap changes. And this one's I'm basically done with, but it's about an eighth inch gap which means the wall thickness is about a sixteenth. Then to go to a port, it's a mirror image of that one, you just flip it over and come in from the top. Do the same thing. Well, now this one's about five sixteenths, which means that that's well over an eighth of an inch thick still, so it's still got a ways to go. But that gives you exactly twice the thickness of the wall, or roughly. Mine's not perfect. I, I got my spacing off just a little bit on that center rod, but I checked it um, against a known thickness, which was uh, this washer right here, which is exactly an eighth of an inch. I checked that and then I measured that and it's within just a few thousandths, even though my, my center point is actually off about 50 thousandths. It's within about five thousandths of being correct. The way it works is the principle of the fact that you're measuring at a set distance from the, the fulcrum and then it's doubling it because it's exactly twice the twice the distance out to your measuring point. So like I said, you just have everything and it actually I think is going to work really slick. It could be a little bit bigger than this. I wouldn't want to get real big because you're going to have some heads that don't have a lot of room in there to work. And like I said, this is 200,000 so it was a piece of a cattle panel I had laying around actually. But I would probably make it out a quarter inch or... Probably nothing bigger than 5 sixteenths because you're getting up into push rod diameter then, but uh, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. You just, just enough to hold it in there. But like I said, I'm not trying to steal his design or make any money off this or anything. And like I said, he's, I don't think he's around anymore anyways, but something I've always wanted and have always put off because I didn't quite understand it. But now that I understand it, it's actually really simple. And essentially to calibrate it, all you need to do is make sure that these are both touching at the same time with nothing in it, focus is it. And that's not going to focus. But uh, if those are at zero when they're closed, then and your distances are, like I say, half, your center point is half of the, the overall, then uh, it should work. And uh, this is roughly 7.5 by 3.5 or something like that. But your dimensions aren't real quick, critical. I, I just kind of slapped it together. It took me maybe 15 minutes to make that. And I think it's going to work really good. I put a cut a bolt off down here so that I could uh, double nut that. Use a lock nut. I can put just a little pressure on that. And there's no slop in it. But I think it's going to work slick. Hopefully this helps me out. So.